The Garden Report is brought to you by Price Picks and the Game Time app. Hey, Bobby Manning here. Welcome to a practice edition of the Garden Report. Noah Dalzell alongside last practice Garden Report before Thanksgiving. The Celtics are going on the road tomorrow night after Thanksgiving to head to Chicago for their NBA Cup finale in the group stage. Uh, and a ton of talk about defense here. And, you know, when Joe Mazzulla gets into all people saying this and that about our defense, it's me. Like, I'm the one hammering <laughs> the defense and just trying to parse it out and... I think I've criticized it a little bit this year, too, especially for their rim protection. And Chris Stapps Porzingis comes back, as you predicted. Big difference, 50% shooting for the Clippers in the first half, 51 in the second half. So a team that was giving up 65% shooting at the rim basically cut it down to uh, some of the best rim protection in the league in that game. Uh, so is it going to be different when Porzingis comes back? That's what Joe Mazzulla talked about today, and he said it probably will be. You know, it's always been that way, I think. just Again, the Celtics have always had a great defensive team since I've been around. They've been in the top five or six since there. So because our, our guys, uh, you know, compete at a high level and, and, and have an individual pride over, the, over a season, uh, we've always been right up there. And so I think it starts with that for those guys. And then uh, with the versatility, you know, I think, um, you know, when, when Ime got here and we were able to switch with Al and he was one of the most attacked guys in isolations and he had great isolation numbers and what you were able to do with Rob and his versatility and then how we were able to uh, you know, use Al in different situations, develop Luke and his versatility, and now you have KP and Emi. I think just the versatility that you have allows for you to uh, dictate uh, the type of the shot quality at the other end. And I think we're, I think we're up there. I think we're second or third in, in uh, points per shot defense, which is kind of right where we want to be. So he also defended the defense a little bit, crunched the numbers. I know Brad Stevens had some comments on the broadcast the other night about the defense as well, saying you can probably be a little better on that end of the floor. So. Uh, you know, they crunch the numbers, they go through it, and he likes where they're at defensively right now. The fact that they're not giving up a ton of threes, the fact that they're forcing more turnovers, a goal coming into the year, and now with Porzingis back in that rim protection position, they can probably be a little different defensively, which I think is needed. Yeah, I think there's been a couple of games where the individual defense just hasn't been there. Um, and those games, I think, maybe are different than what he was talking about today, which is just the big picture of things. Um, but the reality is that, you know, some of the optical things that maybe bother people, like the layups, the open shots at the rim, or at least the pretty good looks at the rim, it's different than what we're used to. They really weren't giving those up last year, and they were giving up more open threes, and it's just a shift in, in their approach. And so I think that this season, you know, there's going to be games where, you know, maybe, you know, Zubak or, or whoever it is, you know, Jakopodal, are they're getting easy looks. Um, but then when you look at the scheme of things, like the defense was still pretty good. You know, they still didn't score a lot of points. It's just a different look than what we're used to them giving up. And in today's NBA, like if someone scores 20 points on 20 shots, you know, shooting 50% of the rim, like you'll take that. And so um, there's going to be individual adjustments that are made. Porzingis obviously is going to elevate this team even higher. And um, it was obvious, you know, Derek White talked about it today. There was like six or seven shots that he dramatically altered besides for the two blocks. Um, but I think it's what we're also seeing is just a change in approach a little bit too. Yeah, and they're going to go back to, I think, some of those traditional looks we saw at Porzingis playing back. I'm excited to see Kate and Porzingis together out there. We talked to Kate today, and I think two rim protectors being out there could make all the difference, especially for guys who have been used to playing on the perimeter a little bit. Kate has done that ton this year, more when I looked than anybody, any center in the NBA this year. And Luke Horford, not too far behind them. So that's by design. I think that's been a little different from what they've done in the past, uh, going aggressively to the three-point line and being willing to give up some stuff on the back line. And like we talked about forcing more turnovers, but Brad, you know, he on that broadcast was saying we can be a little better defensive with the eighth right now in terms of defensive rating in the league. And Jalen Brown, after one of the games, was like, we can't just give up layup after layup after layup. And Joe's talked about it being effort individual you know responsibility out there as much as it is the center play and all that so listen there's room to improve and it's early and they're just getting their full team back so i'm not freaking out about it but i think it is worth talking about early on yeah, and I think this team offensively is so strong. Um, we talked about it last year in the playoffs. Like They have all the personnel in the world to be an excellent defensive team, especially now with KP back in the lineup. But it's like there's no one to hunt. And so on paper, this should be the best defensive team in the league, and I honestly think that they will be. Uh, when it's all said and done, I think that there's a little bit of a delta there that will be made up. Um, but, yeah, I understand why, you know, the average person turning on their TV, it's like, okay, this, this defense by the eye test, it doesn't look – that great, even if the advanced numbers look better. Um, and it's at the end of the day, like 
layups just look bad and they look like that's the easy shot in basketball you know regardless of what the advanced analytics show like I think that's always going to stand out to people when they see guys getting easy looks especially when it's the same thing over and over again and I think we've had some of those games where it's like you see the shot go in the first couple times and then you think to yourself okay there's going to be some adjustment being made here and then it's like they kind of allow that same look over and over again but they've won those games so that also speaks for itself too it's not that they're hurting you know it's they're not being that hurt by those approaches either. Yeah, and it was better against the Clippers. You saw Much Porzingis' better, yeah. impact. You saw a little boost from the guys around him. And everybody's saying it allows you to be more aggressive on the perimeter too. Pick up higher. Jalen, Pritchard were able to be more aggressive in that spot. Holiday's talked about it too. So it's a whole new world. I just don't want them to be reliant on it. Because as we know, Porzingis isn't going to be out there sometimes. Yeah, definitely. And, and I think the whole approach with this team, I think, is you want to make sure that you have everything you need without Porzingis. We talked about it so much last year, but ultimately they pretty much won a championship without him. Um, and obviously that's hard. that would be hard to do again, but you don't want to be a, only a good defensive team when he's on the floor. And I don't think that's going to be the case because, again, they haven't been bad this year. Um, but it was pretty funny. Like, he checked into, you know, the game started you know, versus the Clippers. It felt like the first four or five possessions were all perfect examples of everything that we've been talking about around the rim protection just being so much better. Yeah. Um, and it was just obvious off the bat where just guys were getting to the rim and they were seeing Porzingis, and it was like, they, it, was, it was a deterrence. It's, it's refreshing based on what we've seen so far. And yeah, again, Joe crunched the numbers. He likes where they're at. You look at some of the actual numbers and they're a little behind where they were last year. But overall, they're accomplishing what they want to accomplish, he said, defensively uh, with, with some of the adjustments that they're making over last year. He talked about coming into this year. It's going to be a different team, different personnel, different league, too. You know, teams are trying to get those threes up in droves to try to combat what the Celtics are doing on offense. So it's called for a different approach. There's been some bumps along the way in terms of adjusting to that uh, but I thought that win over the Clippers the other night was about as good as the defense has looked all year no surprise with Porzingis back in the lineup uh, we're brought to you by prize picks go over there 0.5 yards more Tyreek Hill right now they're giving away that square right now so if you're just doing a two-player lead uh, lineup over there on prize picks Half the battle right there. Tyreek Hill, free square for Thanksgiving. So go get that just one more day uh, before the Dolphins play the night game on Thanksgiving. So that, along with the code CLNS, gets you a $50 bonus um, when you play a $5 lineup right now over there. And game time, when the Celtics are back in town, they play four times here in Boston next week. Go over there and use the code CLNS. Get $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. And Nutrafol giving you $10 off your first month subscription right now, along with free shipping uh, with the code Garden Gift. So give uh, the gift of Nutrafol, and it's a great gift right now for men, women. You know, they got specialized products for whatever you need uh, for your health over there. So uh, no, for Noah Dalzell, I'm Bobby Manning. We'll be back after Thanksgiving with some remote coverage of the Bulls game in Chicago and a big Cavs game on Sunday. Cavs still 17-1 and this year. Uh, they have a big uh, in-season tournament game on Friday as well. So we'll have all the scenarios. We'll discuss whether the Celtics make it or not. That's a big topic too going into the weekend here. So for Noah Dalzell, I'm Bobby Manning. This has been a practice edition of the Garden Report. Hey, it's Bobby Manning here. If you made it this far, you probably enjoyed this video. So subscribe, turn on notifications, and check out our social media platforms at Celtics CLNS.